Hey guys, and welcome to another video of Toram Online. Um, my Discord, about five minutes ago, people were talking about giving me armor in order to change the looks of my character, because I, I'm still wearing Adventurer's Garb at level 75. I am wearing the first outfit that you get in-game. But still technically not the first because it's the dyed version. And it has 9 defense instead of even like 10 or 11. But it has a slot. It does have a slot, which I haven't used. But it has a slot. I also realize I can't hear anything in game. You guys can. I can't. But yeah, I need some new armor because uh, I'm, not, I'm not wearing any of this with this character. I also... The background music, quote-unquote music, is not really music. I don't like it. Achievements. 58 and a half hours played, 41,000 defeats, almost 150,000 meters walked, same amount of quests, 26 defeated now instead of 21. Last episode was a, was a fun one. Also, I, I may have killed some of these white jellies, probably about 10 of them. About five minutes ago before I started the recording. And I didn't think they would actually drop it. I figured they would drop a ribbon because they're jellies. And earlier on in this quote-unquote series, I got an actual really nice color ribbon that I sold way too cheaply on the consignment system. And I wanted it back. And I farmed those for like a half an hour and never got one to drop again. And then I killed ten of these. And I get it to drop... A white ribbon. Now this may be wrong, but I have been told once that the white and black colors, at least for accessories, are can go for quite a lot on the consignment system. And I got one within about five minutes. So you're damn right I'm gonna hold on to this thing. And uh, I'm going to attempt to use it someday to dye a new piece of equipment, or same one I have, I don't know yet, uh, later on in the future when I have my own blacksmith character and I feel comfortable risking it. But I do know where to get the color white, at least for accessories now. Uh, I still have never achieved getting any dyes for a weapon, and that may not happen for another half a year. You think I'm joking, but even when I farm bosses, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a very low chance, but I'm just going to continue on with the story. We have quite a good ways to go in this story. We're only at chapter three and we're still not done with it. I'm hoping that I can finish it in this video, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. And also, I haven't fought any of these things yet, and I now see why I don't want to fight any of them. They have a lot of health. Holy crap. I think they drop an additional gear, but they are not worth it to fight. They do. I looked at it earlier, but they aren't worth it to fight. That was quite difficult. They probably had about 10,000 health, which, you know, I mean, I can do it, but it's going to take forever, and they're not worth it. And these things, they, they just drop a crystal. That's not worth it either. And I can see there's no new mobs, but also I just looked into the void here. Oh, Look down, it's dark. You look up, and it's like bloom, golden ray kind of effect of cloudy weather. I, wow. That is, that is something else. Holy crap. I'm just gonna screenshot that right there. Well, man, get my mouse out of the way, maybe. Screenshot that there for future reference, even though I probably actually won't use that in the thumbnail. But, who knows, I might not find anything better, but I'll probably find a boss or a background and I'll just use that instead. That's usually what happens, sadly. Uh, I was thinking that white jelly was not a white jelly. It just looked too rainbow from a distance, and I thought it was like a mini-boss. Gate to another world. Now, is this place going to just... Oh, first off, the monsters here look absolutely terrifying. Also, is this going to be a thing where I'm actually going to go to a different place, or is it going to just be like three levels in the area called Another World or whatever? 
and then there's gonna be a boss and I'm gonna beat it. Glow Ray, level 60. That was quite a jump from level 50 straight to level 60. And they drop a bow. I bet you it's a really nice bow. How hard are you to kill? Not very. Interesting. You're not very hard to kill. You also just gave me your food? Which I don't think you would actually drop. Rayfin. Interesting. What's more interesting is I'm gonna drop a spinning slash. Oh, they moved too slowly to actually take effect of another one. Oh boy, I'm getting... Yeah, okay, they hit hard. Just take them all out with the second one. I think, I think I'm done killing those things. I... I'm good. Also, what happens when I eat a Rayfin? Never mind, it won't let me eat it. It's a food item, but I can't eat it for some reason. Good to know. Whoa, hello, Outer World Wolf. Oh, you're a boss. Of course you're a boss. I clicked on that and like, oh, level 70. That's probably not a boss. No, it's a boss. And that, that body armor, I wonder what you drop, because it would be nice. Planet head? You look like a Pokemon, I swear. I swear. There's an Ultra Beast that is nearly identical to this thing. I swear there is. Uh, also, planet... Oh, it's a different planet head. There's two different planet heads. There's a purple one, and there's a green one, and the green one drops a shield. I won't use it, but uh, that wolf... Oh, you know yet. Wait, where where am I looking? Oh... I swear the map isn't right. Like, what do you, I, I think the map is opposite. Yeah, because I'm... It's not opposite. I'm just an idiot. I, I just need to go south. I, apparently, I don't know how to read a map, and my brain got severely confused somehow. And I, I, I don't want to talk about it, but... You know, we have friend mercenaries. We have one with 12,000 damage. I've also... Can I... I've been told I can select skills. Maybe not. Maybe it, they were talking about my mercenary, but I, I know. Oh, well. Outer World Wolf, if I had a ranged attack, I would definitely use it on you because I don't want to get this close because I know you'll one-hit KO me. I know what you're like. You are very... You didn't one-hit KO me. Well, I did dodge it. But uh, you definitely broke my armor or protection or whatever the hell it's supposed to... Ow. Okay, you're still aggroed on me even though I hit you once. Thanks. That, that really freaking hurts. Uh, can I get you to respawn? I know how to make you respawn, it's just a pain in the butt to do it every time. Oh boy, of course I'm not going to be able to hit a planet head, huh? Oh, he didn't respawn. Alright. Go after that one. There, there's, there's the good boy. Just get that knockback and save myself the trouble. How much is he going to do to Pikachu? Nothing. Absolutely no damage. But Pikachu can kill it pretty easily, so I'm going to farm this thing... I don't know, five to ten times maybe. See if I can get the body armor to drop. I know the chances are not gonna happen, but you know, there's always there's always a slight chance. Yeah, so that outer world wolf, it, it's not worth it. It's not worth it for me to try and farm. Because I'm already at 28 defeated. I, I've killed it four times. It's knocked me out two of those times in two hits even with me trying to evade, so we're just gonna move on, it's not worth my time. Oh boy, this area. It is quite something, isn't it? It's quite bright too, actually. I'm just gonna, you know, might as well grab a picture because I don't want to come back here. This isn't a fun, fun place, really. These are actually holes in the ground. Is there another one? Is there really another one? I don't want the glow raid, no thank you, I wanted to click on that. Oh, there is. That's nice, maybe this one spawns more often too, because the other one took me forever to get it to respawn. It did not like to come back, and somebody else is currently farming them, nice. Huh. Oh well, I'm moving on. Oh. Well, this place looks even nicer. Man, I'm just gonna fill up my screenshots folder, aren't I? Uh, can I go like that? Oh, yeah. That, 
that is quite something right there. It's not perfectly center, and you know what? I don't care either. It doesn't have to be, but there's there's nothing here. Uh Was I supposed to go to Nyata? Was I Huh. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to return to Nyata instead of Yup. Okay, well, um I have a long walk. I I may just stop recording for a second to save myself time. So I'll see you back at Nyata. Alright Nyata, I I have made the long journey back to you and then I have to make it back to where I already was, so let's make this quick, shall we? The fact that you came means you found the world the gate of another world, right? But But what? What what's with the holy gem crystal thing? Why aren't you why aren't you touching it? Look, it's not finished yet. I did my best as the Star Wizard, but there's something lacking. My magic power might have eroded when I lost my ear and sight during the battle at the gate. That might be why I couldn't make it. Can you deliver it to Maoez and ask him to finish the refinement? Maoez lost his magic power too, but he is the Moon Wizard. He's more skillful at refinement than me. I'm not going. I don't want to get screwed again. Oh boy, Palulu. Who cares? Just, just, I'm just walking away. It's not worth it. Hey, don't leave me alone. I'm gonna leave you, you little piece of crap. Go to see Maoez. Thanks. Oh, this is gonna be fun, huh? New Moon Palace. How do I get there? I don't remember where New Moon Palace is. I honestly don't. Right there. Noral Land of Chaos, Yoral Highlands, to the swamp instead of the cavern. I would love to just move to the map, but it's not worth a teleport ticket. So I guess I'll see you with uh, at Mawez, huh? Alright, another long walk, and we have come to Maoez. I've had it. I'll never go with you anymore. Please don't. Oh, bye. Yeah, get out of here, Palulu. Silence, what's wrong with you? Oh, boy. You pissed off the moon wizard. Now what are we gonna do? Here, fix this crap. So Nyana made the sorcery gem. Hmm. Looks like the refinement is completed. There's nothing else I can do to it. A sorcery gem might be more like the premier gem than a holy gem. The refinement is done, but it doesn't work. I guess that means it has to be filled with divine energy of a god or goddess like the premier gem. I don't know where Almas, the main god of this world, is. For now, you might want to ask from another god or goddess you know. From Pino? I, I just walk away. Where are you going? Away from me. Yeah, I just walk away. Go see Pino. I... I can't. You don't know how much time I wasted to come here. I went to Sofia City. I used the consignment system. I battled Forestia a few times just to see if I could even break it to try and get the armor drop. I couldn't break it because I couldn't hit the damn thing. And now I'm back here. Wasted so much time. I love it. Just to come back here to see Pino. You reported about the sorcery gem to Pino. I understood. You mean I understand. I've never tried it before, but hopefully I can be of your help. Anything? Looks like I couldn't make it with my power alone. I'm so sorry. By the way, I've been feeling divine energy around Ethos Fortress these days. How about visiting there? I guess he or she will give you a hand in this kind of situation. What? Why have you made me go, on, go to like three different places, but not like advance the story at all? And we're back to where I started. Going to Ethos Fortress. Th it, why? Like, why am I just traveling between place and place? Oh, there's a new person here? Alright. 
but it's not a new person. It's the same Balsetti guy. Hi there, thanks for helping us last time. No problem, leader. The adventurers came here. Oh, nice to see you again. The monsters never stop attacking us, but make yourself at home. Ain't much of a home when you, there's not even a way inside the walls. Hey, it doesn't feel like a god or goddess is near here. Interesting. So now what? You asked Reno if he saw a god or goddess here. What? We wouldn't be attacked like this if a god was right here. Right? We met, We never know. He might be watching us from somewhere to see whether we can overcome the trial. I wouldn't like such a mis mischievous, mischievous god. A leader, a large number of monsters are coming to the fortress. What? Leader, we need to form a defense line. There's no defense line. I'm sorry, but please give us a hand. I want you to fight the monsters near the half-broken fence. Okay. So... There's no god or goddess here. Defeat all the gobrogos. Rogas. Oh. Okay. Wow, lots of monsters. Really advanced the story there, huh? That was it. Yep, Blulu's just coming back. We made it. Yeah. Yeah, what the yeah dot dot dot. You've been a great help to us. Hmm, what's that? That's it's glowing. How beautiful, it's amazing. The sorcery gem was completed before you notice. A god may have been around here indeed. I think he saw your great efforts and bestow his power upon the sorcery gem. Even a god would praise your effort just now. You should be proud of it. I killed three monsters in two attacks. Very proud, yeah. By the way, where are you going next? The, god of, the gate of another world, but it's too dangerous. Uh, you can be stopped by here in order to get to the gate, then I can't stop you. Great English! I hope you come back safe. May the divine energy and the sorcery gem protect you. I have one Ethos Fortress teleport left. I would like to have another backup, but maybe not. Yes, Palulu. Wait, did you show him the sorcery gem or tell him about it? That's strange, he looked like he knew about the sorcery gem. Well, forget it. You must have told him by chance or something. Think before you speak, okay? Yeah. Okay, well, not just so. He's a god, huh? Fun. Wow. Good to know, God in disguise. Go to the Fazio boundary. Wasn't I've already I've already been so far past that. Well, I've been here before, but I haven't gotten this view of it before. Oh wow, look at the giant moon question mark or just entrance to another world thing. Looks pretty cool. I don't think I ever looked up in this place. Not a wise choice, huh? The gate must be near here. The monster's attacks are fierce. You have the sorcery gem? Of course I would have it. I don't know where it would have went. It glows really bright, huh? Oh, no, no, no. It's an important item, right? Don't keep it in such a place or you'll drop it during combat, or monsters may pick it up, you know? Pass it to me. I'll keep it. Uh, no, th no thank you. Not happening. Ah, shut. I've been keeping your bag baggage till now. You can't trust me. We can't lose it before reaching the gate. Just give it to me. Oh boy, and you snatch it, and you're in love with it. That's creepy. Okay, we've got to go to a safe place. Uh... Yeah, this is a bad idea, huh? Looks like Pululu ran off with the sorcery gem. And, okay. Is Pululu even Pululu at this point? Also, what are you getting attacked by? Oh, you're getting attacked by the glass frogs, as I called them last video. Monsters may be attacking Palulu because they hate the energy emitted from the sorcery gem. One, two, three, dead. Oh, you're actually gonna make me fight him? Defeat all the glasses. Defeated. Okay. I'm so sorry, the devil made me do it. Sorcery gem was so beautiful that I thought I could make money with it. Oh boy, Palulu. I got exactly what I deserve. I never expected that it would provoke monsters. Just give it back. You're stupid, Palulu. Okay, just continue to grovel at my feet, sure. 
And you're still in love with the damn thing. Just, just stay near me. I really got experience for that. 417,000 experience. Well, I definitely leveled up after that one. Yay, we're level 76. What a great achievement. Now I just need to continue through this place that I've already been to. Fun. The place that I kind of thought looked like trees and branches at first when they're actually just buildings on their side and upside down for some reason, because that makes sense, but, you know, we're going to another world, so why would it make sense to our standards? You must be outsiders, so the fortress must be near here, right? What do you mean? Well, Ethos Fortress is still far from here. I can't walk anymore, I can't either. It's dangerous to stay here. Stand up, we must go. How have you made it this far? These monsters are gonna kill you so quickly. Which faction do you belong to? I, I haven't really seen your clothes. Faction? There's no faction for us. We are Al Albatif. We live in this area with Yelb the Grass Dragon. Okay, I remember Yelb. I like Yelb. Oh, I see. So they're ethnic minority people. Some tribes don't belong to faction. They have their own distinctive way of living and they don't interact with other tribes. So, you're going out of your hometown, right? But why? You're facing danger. We've been attacked by monsters coming from the gate that appeared near our village. Our village was burned down and many people were taken by them. Yelp the grass dragon tried hard to protect us, but these days the evil energy leaking out from the strange gate is withering Yelp's body and gradually affecting the dragon's mind. As a result, Yelp became out of control and began to go on a rampage. Aw. Yelp said, run before I'm completely controlled by the evil energy. We managed to escape far, but I'm worried about the people in Yelb. We're going there, right? Just say yes and, and relieve him. Huh, of course. The village is on our way, so we can stop by. I've got to make up for picking the gem. Okay. No worries. We're going to the gate of another world. I mean, the strange gate. We'll beat the evil down and save the people. Your hometown and the dragon called Yelb. Really? Yes, really. Can we go home? Well, sometime. Leave it to us, so just walk a little more with Dad and wait in a safe place. Ethos Fortress is behind the place called Fabizo. I know it's hard to travel with children, but be careful of the monsters. I'll leave the village and Yelp to you. I like Yelp. I don't want to fight Yelp this time. I don't want to be forced to battle Yelp. Yelp is friendly. It, it, they wag their tail at me. Yelp is a friendly dragon. And we meet once again, Yelb, wherever you are. You'll appear sometime. It's a nice looking tree. Too bad I can't go inside of it, because it's not part of the map. Hello, Yelb. Oh yeah, you're a little you're a little crazy right now, huh? Girl, run, I can't control myself anymore. Yeah, let's just let's just fight. Fight and get it over with. Uh, is that what the pink stuff is supposed to be, like, the control? You looked at Yelp's entire body, but unlike the cells, there is no black crystals on its body. You're right. What's the thing on its chest that's glowing mysteriously? It just turned purple, or reddish, pinkish, and now looks aggressive. Yeah, it's gonna try and kill me, huh? Alright, Yelb, I have to fight you legitimately. Yeah, we, we all know I'm not winning this fight solo, right? We, we know this. Yeah, I... well... I could say I didn't put much of a scratch in her, but I think I kind of did. But she's putting a lot bigger of a scratch in me. Yeah, that, that, that HP is not going down much. I mean, if I sat here for a while... I could beat it, but considering I've battled this thing so many times already, it's not worth it. I did 8,200 damage though. Oh, you've got to hit me harder. Come on, just just end it. Man, you, you do not like to uh, kill me. I mean, I know you're supposed to be like friendly, but there you go. Retreat. We can make that a whole lot quicker, because we don't need to sit here and battle this thing. Again, you've already seen it. Yelba has been officially defeated. 
so... What, you're friendly now? What am I doing? Who is it? I see you. You saved me. Thanks. I saved you by kicking, by kicking your butt. I felt something evil invaded my mind when my body began to wither. I have no idea what it was. I appreciate your help for release, releasing me from the evil. But judging from my body that is still weak, things seem to be unpredictable as long as that strange gate is still there. The place beyond here almost turned into another world because of that strange gate. Stay alert and good luck. Thank you, Dragon Yelb. You are quite friendly. And I got another 462,000 experience. Oh, we're almost to uh, 77. Nice. Look at this mysteriously quiet place with a waterfall. How nice. That's not a waterfall. Never mind. That's like the universe falling down for some reason. That's also a nice staircase down. Investigate the road to another world. Thanks. Yeah, it is. I Like I said in the beginning of this video, it is strangely quiet here, and it's weird. I like it, kind of, but I, I also don't like it. I also never paid attention that that is a staircase I technically go down. How do I go down it if it just comes to an end down there? Like, I clearly go down here, and I, I like, exit the next map there, but th there's nothing down there. We can all see, it just turns into nothing. What are we shocked by? What are we getting ready to kill? Oh. There's just five of these things in our way. Okay, that's different. These are my shadows created from the parts of my body. How dare you destroy them, you fools. I will end you with my ha own hands. Come to the gate of another world. Okay, that's that's not good at all. That was quite quite low quality story right there. Wait, didn't you hear that? I didn't hear anything. This place is like quiet as hell. He's obviously going out of his mind because of the evil energy. Moreover, he can create such monsters using parts of his body, so he's no longer a human, right? And he was sealing the gate at the expense of his body, wasn't he? If he had become a monster, then the seal of the gate must have been broken and much more horrible monsters might be coming, right? We've got to run. You said you were prepared. It's like the only option. What are you saying? The situation has changed. You can't beat all the monsters alone. I don't want to get involved in it. I don't want to die. Then where are you going? Oh, of course those two are here. Why can't I just permanently party with them? They just seem to appear everywhere in the story. As you said, Majua turned into an evil existence and the gate might have opened. As a result, the monsters might be coming into this world through the gate of another world. If that's true, sooner or later there will be no place to hide. There is no option but to defeat Majua and the things from the gate. I can't go back alone, so I have to go with you. That's right, Palulu. Fine, I'll follow you to the end of the world. Alright. Keep in mind, we are still on Chapter 3. This has been... Quite the long chapter. Oh, yep. And welcome back to this area. It is quite interesting. Kind of looks like snowfall, honestly. Or pollen on dandelions. Which is the right way? Uh, the only path is straight ahead. I guess either way may end up at the same point. Alright, let's split. Split where? There's no split here. We'll go this way, you guys go the other way. See you at the gate of another world. Watch your step. It doesn't split anywhere. There's straight, and there's left and right, and the left and right just appear into the same spot as straight. Like, okay. That, that's, sure. We'll, we'll accept that, won't we? Oh, somebody's killing things. I guess I'm killing things. Good to know. There's more things. Oh, there's no end. Oh, somebody's using magic. Oh, hello, you're back, and you have another summoning buddy. A defensive one. Go, go, go. Okay, well, you're just gonna stab everything, huh? Stab, dead. Stab, dead. Shoot explosives, dead. I heard from Triel and the others. We'll take care of them. Hurry to the gate of another world. Ah, quite exciting story, yes. Thanks guys, keep your guard up. 
yeah, here's where the budget of Torium came in, huh? It's uh, supposed to be dramatic. However, it, it does not seem to be very dramatic in the slightest. The gate of another world. I have my two swords and this little person who apparently holds all my baggage. Finally, you apostates reached here. I broke the seal while you were fighting my shadows. Now, I'll take you down and make this world ours. Oh, you're gonna be a fun boss, huh? Oh, yeah you are. Whoa, okay, yeah, whoa. Yeah, get out of here, Palulu, because I'm not beating this thing either. I am the Nur the Nurthoth of the God of Delso. The God in another dimension. I am ruling the living things totally different from you. I happened to feel this guy calling the Ancient God or something like that. Then I came up with an idea to impersonate it. I said that I would restore the collapsed world and told him to summon me to this world. All this is to invade this world. But when I passed through the gate, he and two other guys found out who I am. They pushed me back and sealed the gate. But if I didn't give up my invasion plan while he was sealing the gate, I kept diffusing the miasma from my world and it affected his body. As a result, I succeeded in creating my shadows using his body. And I sent, the monster, sent out the monsters from my world through the crack of the seal. And now I'm back here again. All I need to do is destroy his body to break the seal completely and open up the way to dominate this world. You are no match for me. Just obey me. Help me break my seal and you can become my subordinate. You may rule a part of this world. Eh, doesn't sound fun though. Stabbing a sword through your chest sounds fun. Oh, Triel and Balf, they're gonna help me. You said you use the wizard's body to enter this world. That means your body isn't yours, is it? What are you talking about? Monsters look like the living things in this world as they are get far from the gate. That means you can't completely control them, right? That's why you asked the adventurer for help, isn't it? Shut up. Let's do it. Alright, we're just gonna force fight. How many- how much HP do you have? Only 500,000? And we're the same level! So we should be on equal grounds, right? Oh my god, I'm just spinning around. Okay, you completely guarded one of my hits. See if I can flinch you. Oh, I can. And I can break. Oh. I can try and break here. Oh, I've gotten a whole bunch of hits. And why did my HP just drain more? I never took a hit. I... You saw the circle that was in front of me, right? Yeah, also noticed how all three of us got one hit KO'd there. Very fair fight. Completely fair fight. I absolutely love the boss, the bosses of this game. They are not meant to be soloed in any way, shape, or form. Holy crap. You can drop body armor. You can drop a whole bunch of crap. Six different breaks. Or, sorry. Two parts breakable. Six items that you can potentially get added by breaking. I think I can solo it at 50,000. Rare item. Oh, right. Rare items won't drop. Yeah, you're no fun, Nerthoth. You are absolutely no fun at all. I don't know why I clicked on guild. Well, we all know what we're gonna do here. I don't know why I need to announce it. Let me just heal down, heal for a second. And then I'm gonna kick, well, I'm not gonna kick your ass. Pikachu is gonna kick your ass. I'm just gonna try and break part of you so the chance, the one time I'm gonna battle you, I might get an extra item or two. Seems to be worth it to me. You only got two parts I have to break. And last time I hit, I tried to break it three times and three times with full attack still couldn't do it so we'll see what happens we got a full party on there we got we got that hover going okay well oh my god every time I break it it does a giant AoE attack huh well I got two in now oh boy that's gonna hit hard I missed didn't miss that time oh we broke one See, oh, okay, he just did 9,300 damage to me. 
how are you supposed to beat this thing without putting out a normal? That is insane. And of course, Pikachu killed it. I clearly leveled up because I heard it. The gate. I just need to open the gate. Oh, you ain't opening any gate today here. Here today, in my English isn't good either. Sorcery gem. Now, why would I give it to you? Oh, I'm not giving it to you. You just had your hand out for some reason. Oh, I'm just going to full on chuck it at it. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. Just throw it through the gate, huh? Whoa, the gate. Wait, don't close. My power will be gone. I don't see an issue with your power being gone. Well, he disappeared. Oh, it even it got more beautiful in here, honestly. And Mawes, are you restored to normal? Uh, you definitely are. I may have said the wrong name already. It's over. You stopped the evil existence that might cause a disaster in this world. I appreciate it. Thanks. No problem. He was sealing the gate with his own body. He's seriously injured. Let's take him to Nayada. I gotta go back here. Wow. The gate disappeared. Yay. How easy going as always. Lulu, you should have died alongside me. 540,000 experience. That boss fight was insanely unfair. But uh, I've completed chapter 3, finally. Chapter 3 is a long one. I got 12 teleport tickets. Yeah, that that's kind of useful. Uh, I want to... Hold. First of all, I want to see what I might have gotten from that boss fight. Uh, Outer World Pebble? Is that it? I broke a part of him. I have the same things here. Nothing's uh, red. I need to put these in uh, storage. Yep, the only red things are Grass Dragon Skin and Outer World Pebble. Did you even drop anything? You drop the Outer World Pebble. Yeah, you do. I can't even imagine fighting you at level 83 with a million HP. Like, you already one-hit KO me at 73. So what am I going to do? I'm going to try and kick your ass again because I want to break part of your body. I'm only going to do it once because we all know how this is going to end. It's going to end with me on the ground with Pikachu trying to kill this thing and heal me at the same time. Get that first break. Yep. So uh, that AoE attack happens every time I uh, flinch it, huh? Yep. Okay, so I broke it, but flinching it kills me. That's what I'm learning. Flinching it is literally a death sentence. I don't know why it would be. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. So to break it, you have to kill yourself, basically. I did break one part of it, but I wanted to break both. Oh, we get the different animation this time. That's fun. Pikachu also killed it a lot easier that time. Yeah, see, I broke part of it and didn't get any of the extra items. Well, I can officially say I have completed Chapter 3. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see my next video or any of my previous videos. And have a good rest of your evening, day, night, morning, week, month. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.